Hey everyone, Draco Magnius here for another episode of Let's Stream Paper Mario. In the last episode, we went to Lava Lava Island. We uh, went into the volcano after helping find some Yoshi children. We recovered the star spirit from a lava piranha plant. In this episode, we're going to be giving our last bubble seed to Minty over here. But before we do that, <clears throat> anything interesting over here? Or nothing? Oh, right, I forgot. So, off screen, I got the... Wait, it's not here anymore. Oh, right, I remember. So, I did a thing off screen. I basically waited around for a bit, and eventually his stock did change up, and I have 200 coins. <clears throat> so I'm buying this Mega Quake badge, god damn it. Even if it does require 3 BP and like 7 FP to use. Thank you. I almost completely forgot about that. Alright, I need one more BP. Hmm. What could I get rid of? I really like refund, but... Close call, I think, is more important. Is there any other one BP thing I'm willing to get rid of? Well, not power jump, because power jump is just too nice. <sighs> it kills me, but I, I think I'm going to have to get rid of refund. That sucks, but I'm if I want Mega Quake, I'm gonna have to do it. Mega Quake. Oh yeah, I could have just done it from here, huh? And I think, yeah, I think BP is our next level up, if I'm remembering correctly, which I, you know, might not be. Ah, okay, and we have. Like, we don't have a lot in the way of items, but I have no money to buy anything else, so I think it's time for us to uh, move forward. Flower Fields is in a state of despair because of Bowser's minions! Please, save us! Bubbles come from a flower-filled land called Flower Fields. They say flowers in Flower Fields are in trouble! To get to flower fields, you need four kinds of seeds only bubbles possess. But where are the bubbles? Please, Mario, you must look for bubbles and get the seeds from them. Bitch, I've been giving you seeds all throughout this adventure. I've got the last one right here. Maybe Merlin's fortune telling could help you look? I suppose this moment is in the event you missed every single bubble. I don't know how. Well, I, I guess I know how you do that. If you are but a young child, like I was way back when, you may have overlooked the bubbles by not having any idea where they were, or maybe you just were really fixated on trying to get to the story beats and completely ignored the bubbles, which is also possible. Or maybe you just don't like talking to NPCs. So I suppose there's a few options. I mean, me personally, I think when I was younger, I got all the bubble. well, when I was younger, I got held up in the fucking baking minigame. And it wasn't until I was a teenager that I finally actually got through the game. Wow, you bought me the seed? Thank you so much! My, how convenient that you had that archway specifically for the door. <clears throat> At first, it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. It must be. You must be able to go to flower fields from here. Mario, flower fields need your aid. Please help. Maybe I will. Or maybe I won't. No, I will. 
I very much have to, so, you know. Chapter 6, Dark Days in Flower Field. Hmm. What ho? Now who might that be? Well, it looks like the chat window's cut off a little bit. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do some finagling, it seems. Transform. Edit. Do, do, do. It's the right side, correct? So let's, uh... Okay, and I'm gonna have to... That seems... That seems better. Okay, but the only problem now is I have to adjust this a wee bit. Okay, so... We'll just do the same thing. Edit transform. And I think this is the one that we're gonna be... Okay, so... Hmm, this isn't doing what I was hoping it would. In fact, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Well, that didn't do what I wanted. I should probably just do that. There we go. Now let's just do a quick check to make sure everything is hunky-dory here. You yeah, know, that's fine. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Oh, it's the Great Deku Tree. I mean, ho, 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 up here, son. Oh, never mind. It's Santa Claus the tree. They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in Flower Fields. The land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. Oh, my apologies, Wise Wisterwood. You reminded me of another talking tree I'm familiar with. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huffenpuff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huffenpuff is holding somebody captive. Of course, that must be the star spirit that you're look. It must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh, uh -huh. you're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it. If you find a magic bean or something that grows high. So I need weed? Oh wait, no, that doesn't grow high. That makes you high. Sorry, my mistake. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she's off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Alright, well, you're the closest bubble. How do you do? You want to meet Petunia? That flower seems a little strange to me, you know. She collects beans and seeds, but she never grows them. She just likes seeds. I call her the Seed Maniac. No comment. Petunia? The seed maniac, Petunia? 
The one who collects seeds like a crazy flower? I know her. She's growing due east from here. Alright, well, easy enough. So far, no new information aside from Yo Petunia East, which is what we already had. I'm sick of this weather! Flower Fields is always cloudy! Never used to be like this. That huff and puffs the cause! Plants like us can't live long without the light of the sun! Everybody around here is losing hope and starting to wither! Man, that's a mood and a half. The sun can't come up because a thick cloud is completely covering the side. Sky. We bubbles can't live just- uh, we can live just about anywhere if there's sun, but now there's none at all! I'm not saying that some clouds- having some clouds are bad, of course not! But there should be some gaps for a little precious sunshine! <sighs> I hate that stupid cloud. Man, everybody up here with a mood. <laughs> no, 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 yes! I hate these things. Crazy daisies, they put you to sleep. This is what I think of your singing! we got here. Ooh, a stinky herb. I got that Ow! Didn't even let me finish making my joke. And you're only 3 HP, Pazap. A Buzzap, excuse me. Oh, we're so close. Ah, damn it. Rude! Alright, Sushi, end this one. Kaboom. Oh, we're so close. Am I overleveled? I might be a bit overleveled. Nothing. Nothing. Surprise! I'm getting rid of that bastard. Hey, even when I fail, I killed it. Oh, jeez. I hate that so much! Alright, Sushi, end this stupid flower. Hooray! Two more star points? Seriously? Ugh. You know, it occurs to me I never bothered to try and pick up a whack of bump. I should probably go back to Toad Town after stopping by Petunias to go to. Ooh? Red berry. Another red berry. Uh. Huh. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots, so oh, woe is me! My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if I, this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... This guy... And this jerk... And this troublemaker! 
And this wicked creature... This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. All right. Ah, how did I miss that? I call shenanigans. Well, okay, that one I can understand. Ha! I whacked a mole. That's only one. I'm not going to mega quake for one. Kaboom. Kaboom boom. Hooray! The exact two points I needed! Huzzah! And BP! Alright, now let's see what I want to put on for my new 3 BP. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to put on. So I'm get my refund back. I demand a refund! And let's do Dodge Master. Because I really, really like Dodge Master. No, yes. There we go. I am happy with my current badge setup. Alright. Where you at, mole? Ah, damn it, how did I... It's fine. Gotcha. Ah, now see, this is worthy of a Mega Quake. Holy moly. Yes, I did that on purpose. It's easier to do this. Bumbet, if you would be so kind. Kaboom. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh. Oh, no, that's fine. Run away, you coward. How did I... I was off, like, by a centimeter, wasn't I? Dang, these guys sure are sturdy. And once again, Bombet, if you would be so kind, my dear. I do that when I could just have done this. Who knows? I mean, none of them have attacked me so far as the thing. I'll use maple syrup, why not? Just a straight up syrup, because I haven't taken really a lot of damage. How? And <laughs> this is fine. Gotcha, you bastard. Yeah, no, it is Monty Mole. They just, you know, they're a different color from the original moles. From Dry Dry Desert. Gotcha! Hold on. Batunya, I know you said I didn't have to worry about that guy, but... I mean, did you see this, Daisy? What a weirdo. Just sitting there. All happy. I'm just gonna do another maple syrup just for my own sanity. Look at it standing there. Menacingly. Running around this tree like it owns the place. Hey, how did you do that? There we go. Don't worry, that innocent, I mean that... Menacing Crazy Daisy is done. Or not Crazy Daisy, whatever it was. Something like that. Anyway. Petunia, we got rid of the Crazy Daisy. 
And also the moles. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo-wee! You got rid of the Monty moles! Oh, thank you! Thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are! You got the magical bean. A bean, it's twitching as if to say, plant me this instant! Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Hehe, <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about that magic bean I, that I just gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water? I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! Petunia, listen. I respect your desire to have the seed have its freedom, able to travel wherever the heck it wants, but it doesn't have legs, so it can't really do that unless a bird eats it and poops it out. Or just, I guess, grabs it and moves it, which I suppose is theoretically possible, but if a bird's grabbing a seed, more likely than not, it's going to be eating it. That being said, the seed was twitching, saying, please plant me. At least that's what I got from it. So I'm gonna plant it, because I need to get up to the sky, and I am sorry if that offends you. But the sun will be back if I do this. So it's out of your hands. <laughs> Alright. What ho? What is it, son? Do you need something? I'd like to go back to Toad Town real quick. I got some stuff I gots to do. Oh yeah, and I should grab my recipe book to see what I can use red berry and the stinky herb for. That dank, dank herb. Um... Let me see. Give me just a moment here to get my stuff situated. Situated, rather. Tasty recipes. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, uh, red berry could be used with cake mix for a big cookie. That'd be worthwhile. Um, what else we got here? If I did an egg in a strange leaf, I, leaf I could get a, or a stinky herb, excuse me, I could get a boiled egg, which, um, eh. I could use one of the coconuts with a cake mix to get 3 HP and 15 FP. That wouldn't be a terrible idea, because I do have coconut. Huh. Strange Leaf is used with a lot of stuff to make combat items. That's interesting. I should really get rid of that dried shroom I have in my stuff. I could do a dried shroom and a super shroom, I suppose. Oh, or cake mix and a stinky herb could get a kooky cookie. Which can backfire on me, but, I mean, that might be worth it. Okay, what else can I do? Well, the red berry... I want to get rid of red berry and want to make big cookie. So I'm going to need some cake mix. Which means I need to go to Shy Guy's Toy Box. Because I don't think I have any... Cake mixes at the current moment. So off to the toy box. Let me just check here. So I've got two of those, one of those, if I wanted to do the kooky cookie with that, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. What do I have currently? I've got 32 coins. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a super shroom. I'm gonna take out my, uh, or not buy, excuse me. I would like to claim this dried shroom. Oh, my inventory is now full. Whoopsie poopsie. And I saw I did have a cake mix in storage, so. I can do some cooking there. All right, tasty. 
What you got for me? I'm gonna give you this dried shroom that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago, and this super shroom. Yes, please, and thank you. And then we gotta go over to... A hot shroom! 15 HP, 5 FP. I'm probably still gonna have to go to Shy Guy's Toy Box for a few more. You know, this is probably stuff I could have done off screen, but I don't have I wouldn't have had the berries, so. Alright, so how many cake mixes do I have? Not a lot! But I'll take that cake mix so I can make myself a big cookie. Uh nah, let's. Let's make the big cookie first, because I need to clear some room if I'm going to grab some more stuff. I don't even know if I really want the coconut pop. I think we need a red berry, though, now that I think about it. We need a red berry, a blue berry, and a yellow berry. So I'll hang on to one of my... Hold on to one of the uh, red berries for now. And we'll eventually get the other berries, so... I... I hit the wrong button, sir. That is on me, my good man. I would like to check this stanky herb the stink wait is it sticky stinky i think it was stinky that stinky herb the good good shit you hold on to my wheat i mean my stinky herb all right next order of business very important i gotta get a whack-a-bump we have none and i would like at least one Actually, hang on. What did I need to mix the whack a bump with to get, I think it was a deluxe meal? There is deluxe feast. Oh, I need a strange leaf and a whack a bump. Okay, well, there goes that plan, I suppose. Oh, sorry. All aboard Mount Rugged! Woo hoo! I was just enjoying the music there. Anyway, here we are, Mount Rugged. I could grab another egg. Why not? Let's grab another egg to put in the storage to maybe make an egg bomb or something else down the line. Eggs are still useful for things. Sorry, buddy. I need your bump. Waka wah! I can't take this abuse! I'm so sorry! I just killed the Waka! He's, he's gone! I feel so bad! I killed the Waka! Sweet, sweet bumps. Since I'm not getting any more, clearly, I'm 
I should probably put this one into storage for use later. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should. When, how do I make the, like, good thing, the yummy meal that heals, the way that heals 2020? That's not worth it. Where is it? It's like a deluxe meal, right? Where are you in the list? Land meal. There it is, deluxe. Restores 40 HP and FP. So at some point, I'm gonna have to get that strange leaf. Man, I can't believe we murdered the Wacka. Just couldn't take it anymore. I don't deserve the good music. I'm a monster. What's my current? I've only got 14. Ah, screw it. Let's... Oh, wait. How much are they? Pay 10 coins. Yeah, so why isn't it letting me? I've got 14. There we go. That was weird. All right, what did we win? Oh, that's interesting. What is that one? Oh, that's a white little oink. So pale and dainty. I hope it doesn't get sunburn. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here now? Oh, yeah, I got a put some stuff away, huh? Yeah, the closest shop's over here. Alright, I'd like you to check this bump so I can hide my shame. <laughs> this egg. That's it. <laughs> Alright, back to Flower Fields and helping them out with their problems. Here we go! Alright, back to the fields. Let's chat. Have you met Posy by chance? She's a wonderful flower. The soil is very nutritious and rich where she is. As a result, Posy's flowers always grow and grow. Okay. Where the cinnamon toast fuck is Posy? Anybody around here that can. Oh, hey, this loser. Hey, Mr. Big Shot! You looking for something? The only thing that Posey's got is soil, guy. Just soil. Yep. She definitely doesn't have anything beautiful. No way! <laughs> Sorry, guy. I can't tell you anymore. Not even if you ask. What a loser. Anyway, I guess we'll just explore around the flower fields. Because we're not really getting anything directly uh, told to us. Oh, jeez, that could have been bad. I don't think... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're ready to do this particular sector. Okay, so northeast was a bust. How about southeast? Oh, hey. 
Well, that's the yellow flower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm guard the guard of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have an excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? I mean, nothing you would like. Oh, nothing tasty, eh? Well, that's unfortunate. I understand. It's hard to meet the standards of such a cultured flower as my as me. I suppose you weren't up to it. Sadly, it also means you can't pass through here. Well, I mean, eventually I'll pass through here. I just don't have the means yet, good sir. All right. Well, that was a bust. Let's try southwest. We're by the nerd flower. Oh, hey. Just the flower I wanted to see. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. Here, have a color-coded berry. Mm. Oh, delicious! This is it! Great color, full flavor, it's perfect! You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through! Ah! The bees! Oh. Oh, you. You're... You're gonna be a problem. Take that, bee! Ah! So, like, the rough puffs, they, uh... They can electrify themselves, so that can be problematic. I love the face when you hit them. Ooh, I will take my one flower point, please, and thank you. Oh, damn it! Hopefully that herb didn't go away. You know, I'm a PK Starstorm, you losers. I really hope I didn't miss out on that item. This is kind of a waste, but I'm doing anyway. Nope, I looks like I lost out on it, but if I go this way and come back in, maybe it'll reappear. Please? Please, game? Yay! Oh, it's just another stinky herb. Ah, yellow berry. And there are three HP and FP. That's not bad. Wow, this is a very beautiful tree. I mean, I'm just gonna... Ouch! Be gentle with this tree! The tree and I are connected at the roots, so it hurts me when you hit the tree! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. My, my bad, Petunia. I'm assuming you're Petunia? Look at this crystal tree! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought your name was Petunia. That was the flower from before. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? Oh, this is my nose! How rude! Anyway, it was... It was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. <laughs> your nose is pretty nice, too. Could stand to be a bit longer. So why don't you take this fertile soil with you? Oh, wow, that was easy. Thank you. Absolutely pollutant-free. This smells like very good soil. Your nose will be perfect soon. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. All right, well... 
Can't do anything with that. Let's go to the yellow way now. Hello, my good man. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in foods, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? Sure, I have this yellow berry. Another color-coded berry. Bravo! Magnificent! A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring! It reminds me of the warm sunshine I so yearn for. I'm truly taken aback by your cultured taste. Of course you may go. Thank you, my good man. Let's just very carefully make these jumps. Ah! You know, that was probably a paracarry section. I and that was me being a ding, a ding dong. I was gonna say dunce. Yeah, no, I, I should know better. Okay. Paracarry, before I make more of an ass of myself, would you mind carrying me across, please? Thank you. Excellent. All right, this is gonna be a slog, but let's go! But one A, Crazy Daisy. Bam. Ah, d this is fine. It's only one Crazy Daisy. Yeah, no, we got this. Whoops! Not if I flub that up. You bastard! Coward. Running away. Uh, really? This is fine. It's just two star points. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't miss too much. Ooh, I will take that syrup. Perfect! Oh. Hey! Guys are trying to- Oh, now there's more of you. Now you get the Mega Quake. Cooper, you can clean this up for me. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I'm just going to make a quick suspend point because I'm not 100% certain if I want to make somebody else supercharged or if I want to wait till we get the next party member to or ultra charge someone or to supercharge someone. Can I? I can. Okay, good. So that was a moot point. All right, let's see. You get multi-bonk, you get the fire shell, you get the mega bomb that attacks everyone indiscriminately. She gets fan smack, which is just a improved version of her regular smack ability. The only one I could see realistically wanting is Bombette's mega bomb. Or I suppose the fire shell could also be useful, but I think I'm gonna save it for our next party member. It just seems like the smart move in the grand scheme of things. No, we've had sushi out for a while. Let's change things up. I want to have Lady Bo again. Oh. Well, fuck. I mean, Lady Bo can take them out. It's no big deal. Taking out this crazy daisy before it puts anybody to sleep. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh? Thanks for the defense. Now I can just put the controller down because I don't want to do... What the fuck? The fuck is this? You just make babies? Okay. This is a long animation. I did manage to lock one of them. I mean, it didn't matter, but I just figured I wanted to try the timing. Alright, Bo. Finish it. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Okay, I guess we're fighting you, too. This is fine. Kaboom. Bo, if you wouldn't mind, be a deer and smack the ever-loving shit out of this flower for me. Thank you. Blueberry! Ugh, but I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Yeah, let's get rid of the stinky herb. I don't really care for it. And I can always get more. What else am I getting rid of, though? Actually, no, you know what? Very nice. Now I get both the blueberries. Mwahahaha. Ooh, star piece! Ooh. I don't care about the dizzy dial. Hmm. Okay. What's over that way at that tree? Uh, I'll deal with you in a second, ma'am. At least I think you're a lady? I mean, I can't really identify flowers, but for the most part, they seem to all be... Ooh! Jam and j Oh, but... Uh, tough call. Jam and jelly's really good, though. How about I get rid of this second blueberry? Yeah, out of all the things, that's the least... Uh, important. God, how horrible! The spring went dry! What a tragedy! Oh, this can't be happening to me! No, it can't! Not to Lily! Somebody! The horrible thing that rides the clouds took our precious water stone! Water flows from that magic wa magical water stone! Without it, the spring will never recover! Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water! I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither! Poor, oh, poor Lily! Oh no, don't give up, Lily! Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon! Yo. Oh! A prince, well... He actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I am a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. Um, to tell the truth, I have a favor. I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Yes. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Please find it. I will, Lily. I won't let you be crushed under your own weight due to lack of water. Whoop. I did not mean to do that. Huh? I 
that hit you? I guess if you don't pick it up, then it doesn't... I'm gonna test my theory. Yep, that is correct. If you don't actually collect the thing, then it goes back into the box. Neat! Excuse? Really? Really? You could have just let me pass, Crazy Daisy. You didn't have to do this. Now you have to die. This is on you, Crazy Daisy. I would have let you live if you just let me pass. But no! Crazy Daisy had to go and fucking battle me for no reason! Oh. Well, that's a waste. I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Ugh. I just didn't want to use Paracarry, but I guess I don't have a choice. It's not that I mind using Paracarry, it's just... I figured, you know, I'd be able to jump down instead of going back through here, but... Alas, that just isn't the case. Now let's go back to Sushi. Why not? Hmm, do I want to... I could go back to Toad Town to put the jam and jelly away. Which, in all honesty, would probably be a good idea. I would like to go to go back to Toad Town, my good man. My good tree. I did not mean to go in here, but let's take a look at what they got. All or nothing, HP plus, and the speedy spin. Eh. Not- I don't actually did have the money. I could have gotten Speedy Spin. How much is Speedy Spin, BP-wise? Your Kina, that's a good one. You need 50 coins for your Speedy Spin. BP you need in order to use it as one, huh? Then I'm not gonna buy it. I don't feel like using a BP on that one. I could be using it on other things. Righto. wonder how Luigi is doing. Nah, we'll check at the end of the chapter. I would like to check. Check my jam and jelly. Also, check this yellow berry, because I don't really need it right now. Um, and everything else is fine. Thanks, sir. Huh. Kind of amazing you can hear the dojo from inside the shop. I guess they're really going at it in there. I think there's one more degree card I can get. I think there's like a master card. Or not master card. What is it? Uh. No, yeah, it'd be master card. And you battle like all three of them at once. Going the wrong way, ding that. Right, right. Alright, in we go. Alright, so where to next? Hey, Mr. Big Shot, you looking for something? The only thing that Posey's got is soil. Well, that doesn't help me. You just said the same thing again. Loser. I'm so hungry. I'm tired of guarding this stupid old gate. I'm so hungry. Hey, you there. I don't suppose you have anything good to eat that you'd like to give me. Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you through here and I won't tell anybody. All right, cool. Here you go. Enjoy your color-coded berry. A blueberry? I'm sure this'll be gross. <laughs> oh, how delicious! Such a splendid taste! There are good blue things! I'm filled with hope again! Go! Go and never feel blue! I'll never forget you! Wow, man. You thought all things that were blue were bad and you're blue? Wow, that's... You know, you're better than you think you are. Ah! I was trying to help someone out, you spiny bastard! You know, just for that, you get mega-quaked. 
Trying to help someone with their self-perceptions. I guess I can't go back there, huh? Unless... I wonder. That must have some purpose. Aha! Aha! How do I hit that? How would I... I don't have, like, a lob person. I don't have, like, a super jump. That's probably something later, like you go here and then... There was a spring under it, perhaps, but there just, you know, isn't, so... Okay, we're gonna do this the smart way. Ha-ha! Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to hit that at this moment. Oh, hold on, let me just, uh... Push a little surprise. Ah, damn it! You ruined everything! Jerks. I should probably heal up, huh? Let's do a maple super. Very nice. That was a bit of a bummer. Right into the hedge maze. Hey, where'd you drop it, idiot? Huff and Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. Oh my. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, it's just gotta be around here somewhere. It's just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario! Let's open the stone later. Let's rough this dude up. Oh, no, Mario, are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right mental state. Oh, forget it. I'll fight anyway. Here it comes, Mario! Hmm. Take that, you spiny bastards. Oh, I almost got that perfected. <laughs> the look on the cloud's face. Rude. Wow, I did not time that right. Even with Dodge Master, I suck at that, huh? Wow, that... That was incredibly disappointing. At least I got that one. Hey, I got the timing on it! I'm just... I'm curious here. Okay, so yes, I can get through their shell. Belly flop. Very nice. Oh, we're so close to a level. Yeah, that's right, you better fly! Okay, so... I guess I'll do... Yeah, I'll do another maple. We need the FP more than the HP, but... It wouldn't hurt to get some FP. All right, so now comes this part. Uh, let's try this way first. Where am I? Oh, okay, so that just loops back to the beginning. So that was a pointless one. What about this over yonder way? That leads us over here. Oh. No, I can't go that way. Alright. Hmm. 
can go down that way. But this would just lead us back to the beginning again, so... That was kind of a moot point, going down that way. We can't jump up that high. There must be some way to get up there. How do I get to that sector? We'll come back that way, but first things first. No. No. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Aha! Hey! Figured it out! Okay. Very nice. Easy peasy. Oh, hello! It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? I mean, you got the e an ego the size of Texas, but yeah. Really, I'm that beautiful. You're so honest and charming. Underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. I like you. And because I like you, I'll show you this. This stone, isn't it beautiful? I just, I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give you this stone. Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. Wow, aren't you a bitch? Oh, what's that? Another flower's in danger and might die if I don't give you this stone? Oh well. I want this pretty rock for myself. She must be rich. You mean Lily will wither up and die, uh, wither up without this stone? Oh, how sad. Really, how very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see. Tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So let's wait till then. My god, you're a bitch. Huh. You know, this may have seemed a lot more difficult when I was younger. What else is in here? I'm curious. Probably nothing. I probably explored the entirety of the maze. Alright, well, let's go to Petunia and see if she'd be game to give us one of her crystal. Uh, something off of her crystal tree, because I think that's the best bet we've... Hello? Where did that block come from? That wasn't there before. Oh, hey. Shooting star. Well, I'm not going to be able to get that, so... Bring Sush back. Hey! Ah, oh, come on! I should have gotten that. I call shenanigans. I was gonna smack you really hard with my earthquake hammer. Kaboom. So all it was was a shooting star, huh? And that was nothing. Cool. Alright, so let's go down this away. 
Because if memory... Ah, went right into it. Ow! Hmm. Shooting star! Sushi, if you would be so kind to end this one cloud. Turn him into water vapor. Or is he already water vapor? Because cloud. Hmm. Ignore me. Hey, Petunia. Er, Posey, excuse me. Why do I keep... Wanting to call you Petunia. I know Petunia. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful? Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved, have you noticed? Oh, I've noticed. She is the worst kind of person. You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots. So, maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. Whew. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. It is very beautiful. Thanks, Posey. Sorry I keep forgetting your name. At. This is fine. Oh look, a use for the shooting star. And a refund! I'm so glad I got my refund back. Do I wanna... Now nah, let's just do a basic. Conserve the FP. Oh, I almost got the timing on it. So close to the next level. I can practically taste it. All right, let's do another maple shroom. In battle, I'm gonna have to do an electro pop, but it'll have to be against an enemy that actually physically attacks. As otherwise, that electric side of it is pointless. Ignore me. Ignore me. Oh, no, I got caught in the... There we go. Now that I actually know the pattern, it's much easier. Where was it again? I don't remember which way it was. It's this one, right? Yes. Nothing down that way, it seems. But I was just curious. All right. Hello, madam. You vain bitch. Have you found anything yet? Here's a crystal berry. Oh, how pretty! I love it! That's much nicer than this ugly old stone! You better hurry back and give this stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that it was uh, she was saved because of me! Well, I mean, you were holding it hostage for a little bit. It was less she was saved by you, more she was saved by me getting a crystal berry. If we're being honest, she was saved by Posey. Oh, such loveliness! I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Who's the most beautiful flower in all of flower fields? That is me, of course. I don't know, you look pretty ugly to me. Well, it's your personality that's ugly. Alright, we're almost...
walls there. Now, which way was Lily again? Let's see if... Ah! Not today, spiny. Alright, so... Petunia was here. So if I'm remembering this correctly, then Lily's over here? I am at least 90% certain. Now, let's say 85% certain. Yeah, no, I'd say 85% is accurate. Okay, yes, I was correct. I'm gonna eat sushi, I get the feeling. Oh, it's the water stone! Quickly, put it in that hole there! Oh my, but yes I shall. Keep going up. Oh, <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's water. Sweet water. The spring is full of water. I'm floating again. Oh, this is paradise. Thank you so much. I'll give you some miracle water from this spring. Here you are. Thank you, Lily. It's just what I needed. This is the most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. You use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like gangbusters. Uh, but not right now, because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea. You should go see about getting the sun back into the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea about how to get the sun back up again. I bet you, you'll do it. You saved me after all. Thanks, Lily. You're adorable. You're my favorite flower spirit here, honestly. A bubbleberry restores 5 HP. Another bubbleberry. I mean, I could grab that dizzy dial, but I don't wanna. I'm gonna let you crazy daisies uh, do whatever it is you wanna do. I don't feel like dealing with y'all. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to go through all those daisies again if I want to get to that block, huh? Ugh. That sucks. That sucks donkey dung. Uh, I guess I'm fine to continue. I was thinking about maybe going back to Toad Town the rest of the Toad House. But I think we're good. Wait, can I do... Let me try something here. No, I can't. I can't. Ooh! Hi, my name is Bubble Plant. You want to know why my name is Bubble Plant? Is it because you produce bubbles like I saw you do a few seconds ago? I'll tell you if you give me a bubble berry. Well, here's a bubble berry. Oh, awesome! Good going! Okay, get a load of this! Um... It sure is a bubble, all right. There! Isn't it great? Sure is. Now it'll let me go across the way. Uh-oh. Idiot popped me right on top of him. 
Fuck you, Green Badge Koopa. I don't remember what it is you do, but I don't want any part of it. Although now I'm curious slightly, so I'm gonna let you live and kill this bee. I'm gonna regret it, I'm sure. Oh dear. Ha! They do nothing? Oh, you're the supercharged one. Okay, good. Then I have nothing to fear except fear itself. Wow, what a time for a power charge. Sure didn't want to give me, I don't know, star point? I mean, it's fine. You do whatever you do, whatever you want, you're lovely. But, uh... Got him! Do, 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 do. Ah, three points away, that sucks so much! I mean, technically we're gonna have to come back this way, but, uh... I want that star piece I saw now. Yeah, we should be fine. A oh, bush was in the way. Ooh! Oh, wait. Bombette, if you would be so kind. Kaboom. The Mega Smash! Hammers an enemy with a huge amount of attack power. That's also three, so I guess that's gonna be my next uh, BP thing if I wanna do... Uh, I mean, I guess if I wanna do a severe amount of hammer damage, that would probably be for the best. I need an upgrade to the power jump because I really like power jump. What? Ah! The problem is I have to be able to get up to that Lakitu if I want to battle it and not the spinies it's throwing. But how would I do that? I mean, Paracarry is not going to be able to help with that. Oh, wait, I can drop down on top of it. Well, this one specifically, but... Ah, I missed! Very nice. Thank you, Bombette. Bombette really does a lot of work for the team, I feel. Like, every team member contributes something. Gumbario doesn't as much anymore now that we have the Peekaboo badge. But Paracarry carries us across things. Bombette clears a lot of stuff. Uh, Watt reveals hidden things, which isn't the most useful, but it still contributes. And Sushi gets me across water. Here we go. Hey, hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the son. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the son. And I'm not bursting into flames. That's pretty impressive. The clouds that came out of the puffin... Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built. Oh, it makes clouds. That's not what I thought. It, you know what? Not important. Those clouds kept me from climbing into the sky. I'm a complete failure as a son. All of those flowers and plants and flower fields are suffering. Where is it? You mean the Puff Puff machine? I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there, anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff machine? No, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. I'ma help you out, son. 
whether you like it or not. You will climb into the sky. This I promise. I really love the music here. It's a shame it only shows up here. Hey, 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 hold up! Wait, man! Hey, man! I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name's Lackalester. Er, no, it's Mikhail. No! Um. Oh, yeah! Spike! Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike! Well, whatever, never mind. I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from P Huff and Puff. Sorry, man, I've got to give you a bit of a beat down. Like I said, man, sorry. Does that sound cool? Ha, yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man. Oh, no. Luckily, I mean, Spike. Spike's what I meant. All right, so who would do the most damage? Let's check Paracarry out, see what he's uh, carrying with us with a... Oh, well, not Air Raid, because that's all enemies. I want the Shell Shot. Wham! Okay, seven, not bad, not bad. Uh-oh. Ha-ha! Well, I think Paracarry's actually doing more than I am. Well, let's check out Watt's move. Paralyze, boost, paralyzes all. Okay, no, yeah. Paracarry's doing the most damage. Well, Watt, I like you. You're great and all, but... Paracarry's the one who's doing the most damage here, so we're gonna let him fly. No. Power jump. Oh, look at that! The exact amount of damage I do! Funny how that works! Or, Paracarry does. Yeah! I'll take my HP now, thank you. Ugh, man, you're tough as nails! I give up, man! Go on. Do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you guys do. Uh, guys, in a fumble. Do whatever you do to guys you've defeated. Fire flower in the eye. Pal block. Wait! Oh no, lack it, Lulu! No, please! Please have mercy on my poor sweet lack of Lester! Oh, don't call me lack of Lester! It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month! Come on now! You, you didn't even remember a little while ago, my dude! Like, you were calling yourself lack of Lester, then switched to Mikhail! Which is nothing like Spike or Lack of Lester, and then you settled on Spike. Man, I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason, it makes me like you even more. I mean, what? No! Did I, did I say that out loud? For, forget I said that! Anyway, I lost a challenge, man to man. So we have to settle this. I have to face the music. Mario, please forgive him. My lack of Lester was just following Huff and Puff's orders. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Really? Oh, for real? You'll forgive him? Oh, thank you. Stop calling me lack of Lester! It's such a stupid name! My name is Spike! Spike! Don't you ever listen to me? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Huff and Buff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was... 
Hey man, I've got a question. What in the world are you, uh, what are you doing all this fighting for? Myself, world peace, no reason. Why, Spike? World peace. World peace, huh? Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Eh. Still, I must admit there's a certain manly charm to having such noble purpose. Yeah, that's the way to go. I'm going with you, man. Oh no, Black Alester, you can't leave me. Please take me with you. I mean, I'll take two Lakitus on my team. I mean, the game might not like it, but I would certainly enjoy having two Lakitus. Aw, oh, Lulu, chill out. You gotta understand, I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I've gotta be a man. Wait for me. I'll return a much more manly Lakitu. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Lackalester. But you'll be sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear, if you make me Murray, I'll worry, I'll take a spiny and... Okay, enough of that! <laughs> I guess I better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. Bye for now! Lackaluster joined your party. Press down to ride Lackaluster over spikes and lava. While in battle, he can throw, uh, he can attack by throwing a spiny egg with his spiny flip attack ability. Or attack all enemies by throwing as many spiny eggs at once with a spiny surge. You know, it would have been cool, but I understand why they didn't do it. If Lackalester could summon the spinies into battle. Oh, my Lackalester, come back to me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Ah, uh, come on! Call me Spike! But anyway, as I was saying... It'd be cool if you could summon additional allies with his throwing of spinies, but I understand why they didn't do that. Because that could get ridiculously overpowered really quickly. Alright, so which way did I want to go first? I mean, yes, this way, obviously. And then we have to go in the sewers because there's a lot we can access now with Lack of Lester. I mean, Spike. Spike is what I meant. Because that's his name. Nope, he's Lack of Lester in there, even though we know him as Spike. Yeah, his attack's a little weird. You just gotta line it up and you're. D oh, no. Seriously? They're weak enough now I can one-strike them, but it's not letting me one-strike them? Eh. Oh, right! I don't have first attack equipped! Oh, dear. That's gonna suck. Well, as much as I like Dodge Master, I think I'm putting on first strike instead. Or first attack, excuse me. And uh, because I have one more available, I'll put on one of the deep focuses, even though I don't really focus all that much. Oh. You're still... Still weak. So, like, the thing about this attack is you... Like, it looks like it lines up perfectly, but on certain enemies it sort of has a drift to it. Don't you dare. I really hate I'm doing this all for one point in that block. Well, I mean, I guess I get coins out of the deal, too. Oh, damn it. All right, Spike. I will use the name he prefers. Im oh no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it.
And the worst part is it's really difficult to figure out the timing on that. Right on the money. Like it, it has to be like after that last note, but is it immediately after the note? Is it on the last note? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Very nice. All right, my dude. That did two damage each. I have much better AoE attacks than that. But we're about to buff him up to make him on point, so I'm not too upset about it. I'll take some honey syrup. Why not? Alright, so what does he get with that? He'll master Cloud 9 to avoid enemy attacks. That's pretty good. Very nice. Alright, Spike, let's go. Now, here's the thing I'm wondering, which I also find kind of weird here. So, he said he changed his name. So, would that mean that Lack of Lester is his dead name? Because if he, like, actively changed his name, I feel like he shouldn't be called that anymore, but still, his girlfriend calls him Lackey Lester, and the game calls him Lackey Lester. So, like, is Spike just a nickname? Is it a new name? But to be safe, I've just always called him Spike when I can, unless I goof up and accidentally call him Lackey Lester, because the game calls him Lackey Lester. Oh, hey, Petunia, I thought I'd say hi. I didn't accidentally go the wrong way or anything, don't be silly. I was just saying hi to Petunia, because it's been a while. We just, you know, we, we've we been here for a bit, and I've been walking all over the place. I I uh, spoke with Posey a couple times, Lily a couple times. I felt like it was time to say hi to Petunia again, you know? gonna want to do instead then is this I think uh, excuse me this I think thank you and then we'll go here bring this downtown Not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Actually, no, let's do this. Follow that with this. Going the right way? I may have goofed this up a little bit, but let's see how this do. Uh, see how this goes. Okay, so then if I do this... No. Hmm. Um. My. I'm missing something up here. Oh boy, I think I messed this entire thing up and made it impossible now. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so... I do that. Oh, hey, robot. You caught me in the middle of trying to figure out a puzzle. 
which I've technically done before, but I just don't remember how I do it. That's not quite what we're... Let me bring this back down. Oh wait, no, that's probably not gonna do anything if I do this, right? And if I do that, then... Hmm. This is gonna take a bit. I hit this again. Hmm. I know I've solved this before, it's just I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so if I do this, maybe... Aha! I figured it out! Yeah. Well, at least I was able to figure this one out pretty easily, all things considered. Oh? I can't get in that way. I mean, I could fight those clads if I wanted to. I could take them, but, uh, I figured, you know, I'd let them off easy with a warning this time. Alright, what do you get now? Uh, he'll master Hurricane to blow all enemies out of battle. Sure. I'll take another area clear just to buff him up a little bit more. Get him souped up for the battle against Huff and Puff. All right, now, let's rock, Cloud. Oh. Oh, no. I don't remember what the yellow one does. All right, now let's see what his spiny surge will do now. Four damage! I have a lot better AoEs than that. Alright, so what do you do? Oh god, he electrifies them. Well, that's less than ideal. I'm gonna just power jump this fool to get rid of it. I'm a spiny surge again. Ah, jeez! No! I messed that up, Royal! Oh? Oh, hey, she's buffing my defense! Nice! Yeah! Ha! Alright. Spike, you're gonna have to handle this for me. Thanks, Spike! You know, I charged you up expecting you to be really, really good, and I, I kind of am disappointed that I did what I did. But I mean, you know, it's fine. I've got other party members that are pretty damn good. I think I fell into the trap that my younger self fell into. And what I mean by that is, so young Draco assumed that, oh, well, this is the newest party member. So therefore, they must be the strongest party member. But, uh, not always the case, as Spike so very clearly demonstrates for us. But you know what, it's fine. He's got some utility to him. Oh, hey, Zellor. How's it going? And yeah, I already charged you up. Um, hmm, I don't want to do this. Um, I guess I'll take the big cookie. Sure. Oh, there is? Okay, so... Where is it? I do vaguely remember there being a star piece in here. I just don't remember exactly where. Is it on the upper level? Bring it, go right, stand above the arch. Ah, it would help if I uh, didn't go back down the hole. Okay. Hey, 
There we go. Thank you, Zellor. And I wish I could just jump at those Lakitus, but alas, I do not have the ability right now. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was vibing the music. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, stop that! The Puff Puff Machine is extremely delicate! You might break it! Oh, I wouldn't want to do that! I said don't hit it! Don't you realize that if the Puff Puff Machine breaks, we won't be able to make clouds and... Uh, fumble? We won't be able to make make clouds and blue skies will return. Yeah. You think it's easy to fill the cloud with sky uh, skies with clouds? Y yeah. Have you not heard of the water cycle, my dude? Oh my, you're M M Mario. I am. It's a me, Mario. So the OP strat that you can get in this chapter. You know. I'm really happy that they told us that information. I don't know what we would have done without it. Um, Bombad is supercharged. I think Sushi's is actually better than uh, Spikes. But, you know, I'm gonna do this. Because I love my Star Storm. A lot. <laughs> What does Cloud9 do again? Uh, creates a cloud to hide Mario. That could be very useful. Ah, I didn't quite get it. Ow. Okay, I could have swore I got the timing that time. There we go. Don't you do it. Don't you... You bastard. Well, Spike, you're gonna have to take this for me. Flower Finder, Happy Flower. This chapter combined it with the Flower Saver, Happy Flower Finder. Merlot, you can make the cost of most move free. Wow. Oh, retreat, boys! He beat us, but good! Damn right I did. Get out of here! <laughs> Look at those chumps run away! Alright now, Mario. We better do something about this Puff Puff machine, huh? I'm actually doing pretty good without doing that OP strategy, so I think I'm just gonna stick with what I got. Wow! The clouds are gone! It's time for a little sunshine! Oh, precious sunlight! Ho 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 ho! Mario did it! He saved flower fields! Oh yes, the sun! Yay! Yippee! The sun is back! Oops, T. <laughs> Losing control like that. It's so unlike me. Ah, the bright rays of the sun. Once again, I can gaze at the sparkles of light on the water. Oh, it's about time. The sun! Flower fields is saved. And of course, the sunlight can only add to my beauty. stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again! Helping folks feels good! I could get used to this, man! Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere! Alright, Spike. Let's go. We gotta take the fight to Huff and Puff. And stuff. Yeah? Yeah, it is, huh? 
Oop, whoop. Alright. I missed something, so I'm trying to catch up with chat. But I also need to get away from the clouds. Alright, now I should be able to look through. Not to mention you can power bounce for free. True. Okay, and then Sushi's Tidal Wave, Bombette's Mega Bomb, super cheap. Mode hacks for this boss are insane. Alright. So. The Troment of Muth. I've got all the pieces. Oh, thank you, Mario! You did a tremendous job! Hey, he's got puns! You cleared off those clouds so the sun could rise once more. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of light again after such a long time. There's nothing like sunshine. Oh yes, of course, you should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there where you can see the soil. Alright, that makes sense. One magic bean? Oh now, what are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? When you're planting something, the order is soil, then bean, then water. Oh, you're right. Excuse me. That's, that's very silly of me. You know, you'd think you would put the bean in first, then you'd cover it with the soil, and then you would put water. But what do I know? I'm not a plant. Clearly, the tree knows better than me. Here we go. It's very pretty up here. You know this soundtrack, this part of the soundtrack kind of sounds earthboundy. Not that I've ever played it, I've just seen someone play it. Ho ho ho! Success! Look at that sprout! Now you can go up to Cloud Climb! Best of luck, son! Hmm, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Well, I mean, you know, this is the price we pay, Wisewood. You want me to go up to Cloud Climb, we needed to plant this bean sprout, and the bean sprout is kind of in the way. It's either you let me go up, or Huff and Puff just has someone make the machine again. Or he does something else. Who knows what Huff and Puff would do if we just let him have free reign. So we save after doing the cutscene if you die. Oh, yeah, but here's the thing. I'm playing on a Switch, so I can also just very easily do this. Which means I have even less time. Super Jump Badge. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying the jumping on the cloud. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Actually, I should probably make the save point now so I don't have to pick up that badge again. All right, let's see if I remember what to do here. Oh, and I have to think of a voice for this loser. No, let me just... Hey! Are you a man named Mario? And did you, or did you not, break one Puff Puff machine? Sure did break it. Busted it into little bits. Pretty cool explosion. What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plans to cover flower fields in clouds! Yeah. You would have killed all the flowers. It's not cool, dude. You see, I was going to turn this sunlight-blasted place into a cloud-covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. 
Is that you, Spike? So you have betrayed me? You will be punished. I was given this star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes. All right, let's see. Shoot! Ah, I messed that up. Master Huffinpuff, I wish to pumble Mario too. Permission to attack? Yes, take him. Let's try this better. There we go. There we go. Now I should probably do Cloud Nine, huh? Oh, shoot! Forgot that this one was coming. Okay. I mean, doing the Electro Pop, I feel, would do nothing for me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Actually, no, let's do the Hot Shroom first. Chains of being attacked will decrease. You know, I thought that would actually work. That was silly of me. Alright, so healed for four again, huh? Yeah, sure. You know, now that I think about it, I should probably try to just lower the amount of clouds you could heal with. You asked for it. Now you'll witness the full power of my storm. Master Huffinpuff, leave it to me! Ha-ha! Mm. Right. You know, this is going to be silly as fuck, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Probably because I don't really have a lot of FP healing items at this moment. Probably should have grabbed some. Now I am the one who is electric. And now that I have a full heal, let's make his attack totally worthless! I could also have Paracarry. Let me see what Paracarry's, uh... Oh, wait, what? I thought I had Quick Switch on. Do I not have Quick Switch on? That's weird. Why isn't it letting me... And you've already used your turn, you can't switch? Oh, well. Yeah, I'll bring in Paracarry for when I can use him. And let's just get rid of one of the tough puffs. I did not know that. But I do now, and I'm zappy now, so... Ha! Ha ha ha! Ah! 
Oh, there goes my Cloud Nine. Sadly, I'm no longer on Cloud Nine. Ha ha! All right, now I gotta. I mean, I guess it makes sense the electric won't damage the clouds. But, oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Almost there. I'm almost there. There we go. You know what? Why not? God, I love AoE attacks. All right, here we go. All right, he's all electric, so we're gonna put your theory to, well, you would, and there goes my electric the exact moment I say, I'm gonna test this theory. Okay. Well, you know what? This seems like a perfect time for a shooting star. Okay, I just wanted to check. Is really putting in work today. <laughs> you look so upset that nothing happened there. I charged for nothing! Once again, Paracarry shows he is the best fucking party member. Oh? I think Merlovely's just about to soup us up. Boom! For exactly his health! Hell yeah! No! I cannot lose! I mean, apparently you can. Because you just did. That one took a little while. Well, here he is. End of chapter! So it is that Mario and party defeated Cruel Cloud Huff and Puff, and set free the Sixth Star Spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and Flower Fields is bathed in sunshine again. A single Star Spirit waits to be rescued, waits to be taken, uh, take its place in the Star Sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you to try and save them. Hey, Twink. You know the sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So, don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whatever it is you want to transform into. All right, time for some sneaky shenanigans. Solid Peach. 
She doesn't have a box, but she has a parasol that turns her into other people, which is pretty crafty. I still love how this was the consolation prize. Hey, how's it going, fellow knights? Say, I heard that Kami Koopa's building some big thing above Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. What? No! Hey, how's gu guarding Princess Peach's door? On patrol? Very good, then. You can pass through. Yep, Peach is still in there. Can confirm. On patrol? Very good, then. You can pass through. Hey, how's it going? All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. Where's my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. Ah, projecting images in my mind again. Probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. All right, let's key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Thanks, buddy. I'll get your relief for you, don't you worry. Man, I wish I could do the spinny thing with Peach. But I guess that wouldn't make sense, huh? That is a very good question. Maybe something happened in the Mushroom Kingdom that gave everyone the ability to project images into other people's minds. Very limited telepathy. So sleepy. So very sleepy. Let me just catch a quick nap. But don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Alright, don't you worry. I won't tell anyone. Not a soul. In fact, I'll take your shift for you. Because I'm that nice a person. It seems to be locked. You can't open it. Uh-huh. Sure, Twink. I totally believe that. There's no giant padlock on it, but yeah, it's locked. Aren't I nice, everyone? You know, he's probably been working way too hard. That club outside. As we've seen from Tubba Blubba's lair, they work so hard. Oh, I have to talk to you again. They deserve a quick nap here and there. Even though it's his designated time to be on here to relieve the other guy. Hello, I've come for my shift. Ah, uh, finally! About time! You're so late again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off either! You're on thin ice, buddy! I sure won't. Anyway, let's goof off. You know, someone should have repaired this window at some point. This can only be bad. Like, we're almost in space at this point, probably in the stratosphere. There's not a lot of oxygen, it's just flooding out that window. Probably cold as shit in this room. Right?
Hey, buddy. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Entry's prohibited for unauthorized people. I'm authorized? I'm totally authorized. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. Yeah! Fuck the restrictions and rules. Oh. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all of the star spirits, we'll still be all right. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely, affirmative, you are right, Kami Koopa. Hmm, you there! Me? You're doing a fine job. Gosh, thank you, you know? Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Yeah! Ah! Uh-oh! You! Why, you little... Princess Peach, unbelievable! Out again! Look, I... I'm a master of stealth, disguise, and magic. How did you not expect this to happen? I mean, it's not like I got a magical parasol that turns me into other people from a quiz show. Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room! No! Him. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers of Flower Fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come to Flower Fields, uh, if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would never have seen the light again. Now, there's only one of us trapped star spirit. Uh, there's only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power to continue your fight. Mario Star Energy goes up to six and can now use Timeout. Timeout, you can stop time. Shocking, I know. Now you are able to use the powers of six Star Spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you, so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Bye, Clevar. I don't really ever use your star power, but appreciate you. Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the star spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please, come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. I just wanted to bring Lacky Last out. What ho? What is it, son? Do you need something? I'd like to go back to Toad Town, please. Yeah, you know, Kami Koopa's a pretty damn good boss, all things considered. You know, she didn't have to go back and say, hey, you're doing a good job. She could have just moved about and not given two shits. So I respect her a little bit. I also respect Bowser to some degree, because I think he cares about his troops, you know? Huh, let's see, a smash charge hammer. And nah, I don't really care about those badges. Speaking of badges, I did just get uh, that one. So next time I get BP, I'm probably going to get the Mega Smash, but we'll see. Um, There's a few things I want to do before we end things off. One is to check our letters. Two is to check in with Luigi, of course. And three is to go down to the sewers to get the stuff down there with Lackey Lester. I mean Spike. Ah, yes, Mario! Hello! 
Well, it seems that you have received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Oh, wow, we got a few letters. Okay, so let's look at Cooper's fan. Wow, Cooper is a fan, guys. Here you go. Dear Mr. Cooper, I must apologize for sending a letter out of the blue. But I had to. I saw you walking in Toe Town with Mario. You seemed so strong and brave, so dashing. If it's okay, I'd really love to have a talk with you. Oh, how embarrassing. I'll write to you again soon. Good luck, brave Koopa, your fan. Aw, that's nice. Good for you, Cooper. Uh, what does Sushi have going on? From Sashimi, her daughter. I didn't know she had a daughter. Well, I think I did, because I have played this before, but I didn't remember. Dear Mom, first I heard you were lost in the jungle, then I heard you were traveling with Mario. Don't do anything dangerous. Come back as quickly as you can. I'm waiting for you. You're going to be a grand chief. I want you to meet the small fry, your daughter, Shishimi. Oh, that's adorable. Right, and last and certainly not least, Lack of Lester. Lack of Lulu, geez, we just left Flower Fields and you're already writing letters? Calm down! Here you go. Dear Lack of Lester, where are you? You better be a good Lack of and return soon. I'll be faithfully waiting for you near the wise Wisterwood. If you don't come back, I'll search for you till the end of time. I'll give you such a spiny storm, you'll... I'm sorry, love. I get mad when I worry. You're like a Lulu. Aw, shucks. That was cute. Anyway. All right, lack of, uh, I mean Spike, sorry. I'm, I'm fumbling now, Spike, I apologize. Reading the letter from lack of Lulu made me think of that. Oh yeah, we could also go back to the dojo, see how that's doing. Oh hey, I can't do anything about that. I guess Luigi's gonna stay up there for now. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's see if we have any letters over here to read through. Oh, Yoshi kids! Dear Mario, the volcano stopped erupting. Please come back and visit. The village leader wants to see you too. Everyone does. We want to play with you. We bet you've been on all kinds of wild adventures. Remember to bring your stories, the Yoshi kids. Cute. Wah! All right, anything new written in here? him. I heard a rumor that I have... I actually have lots of fans! Wow! What great news! To live up to their expectations, I want to play the lead in an adventure! Of course, my name would have to be in the title. That'd be sweet. But I know it'll never happen. Hey, Luigi, don't beat yourself up. You'll get your own game soon, and it'll be great! I heard that a door appeared in Toad Town. They say it leads to flower fields. I guess lots of flower spirits live in that flowery place. Flower spirits. I bet their souls are as beautiful as their prettiest flowers. Well, Luigi, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but one's kind of a bitch. Boing! Alright. Seriously. Rosie is such a bitch. There. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Mario's gonna have to get some new shoes if he's gonna have any hopes of getting Luigi down from that block. Okie doke. Oh wait, I was gonna check in at the dojo to see if there's anything new. Because I don't remember if there is or not. <coughs> oh, Mario, welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? Very well, Mario. I will fight you again. Oh, okay, it's just me fighting him. I will not go easy on you this time. However, you must concentrate fully if you hope to compete. To battle! Mario, 
You will fall! Hot damn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Paracarry. Hey, 69. Nice. Hm, nice maneuver. Ay, yay. I cannot get the timing on that. Uh-oh, I just realized how bad my health, my uh, item situation is. Hmm, nice maneuver. Oh, dang it, I, I really botched that one. I have no way to heal myself aside from refresh, which is the worst healing move. Oh, no, wait, I have smooch. I'm gonna use smooch. I very rarely use it, but it's time. Thank you, Miss Star. There we go. Don't lose your concentration. I have yet to truly begin fighting back. How much is... Oh, yeah, that's three. Yikes. Okay, he's just saying the same thing here. Ah, that was way too soon. Hold on, let me see. Um, Yeah, we're gonna bring Lack of Lester back in. Oh shit, I have no way to heal my FP. Okay. All right, now hopefully he whiffs. Ha ha! I really should have started making stuff. Um, I think it's better to bring Paracarry back in. Because as previously discussed, Paracarry is a badass motherfucker. Alright, this is it. The finisher. It's true. Cloudy Step is the much superior martial arts style. Let's be real. Hmm. That was a solid fight. Very well. I give you this fourth degree card. Proof of beating the master in full form. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. <laughs> Right. I feel like there's another stage to that, but I'm not sure. Hey, wait a second. I have a letter still, don't I? Who is this for? Uh, hold on. Resting Master at the Dojo. Letter to Coover! Right, I gotta go back to Koopa Village to give that to Coover. So we got a few reasons to go back to Koopa Village. There's also, you know, the Koopa Coot stuff, which we obviously do every time we get the opportunity. Yep, got caught on that toad. All right, now if I'm remembering correctly, which I think I am, I'm probably not, but you know, maybe I am. Lower all that, go over here. 
Nope, I was remembering incorrectly. Is it downstairs, maybe? Well, I say downstairs. Is it down the hole, maybe? I think so. Whee! But obviously, it's not that way. Unless I take sushi and then go, which... Maybe it is that way. After that fight, we absolutely need this. While I'm in the neighborhood and I have a decent amount of coin. Oh, and I could have just hopped on to Spike's Cloud instead of... There we go. There we go, three of those, and can I get three of these? Excellent, okay. So now I can make a bunch of maple shrooms, because those are really good. Um, let's see what we have in storage. Obviously, I'm keeping my whack -a bump in here. Oh, I did have a maple syrup in there. Oh, right, and I have a jam and jelly. I forgot about that. Well, I want to save that for when we get ultra shrooms available to us. Like, I could jelly coat one of the super shrooms, but I feel like that'd be a waste when we could get, like, a better healing item. If we just hold out a little bit, instead of just using it immediately. Didn't Peach have access to getting a jam and jelly, and did I remember to put it in the chest? I probably didn't. Oh well. I completely forgot. And I don't think there's any, uh, more peach segments that we could. And this is not over here. Okay. So maybe it is across the water? It must be. Okay, so... Let's grab sushi. And we'll ride her across the water. And now we get Lack of Lester back. I mean, Spike. Yes, this is exactly what we had to do. That leads us to here. And what else is around? What? Oh. Looked like we could go around that, but I guess not. Oh. Oh, come on! I should have hit him. And, okay, that one admittedly was on me. I flubbed that one. Ah, that, 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 damn it! This is fine. This is why I have Mega Quake. Alright, here we go. Ah, damn it! This is such an unnecessary buff! <laughs> More lovely! For goodness sake! Wait, did it just say the spell ran out? I'm gonna have to go back and get uh, that spell re opt aren't I? What a shitty end to it. Oh, that's fine. It's not that hard to get back to the dry, dry desert. Right. Ah! Got him!
kaboom. Well, well, well. Bunch of turtles on their backs. Oh no! Some of them went in the... I'm... That sucks. More stuff out of my reach that I can't get to. We'll have to come back in here. Let's try this. Eh. Oh ho! Well, looky here! Exactly what we needed! Tornado jump. There it is. Got him. Oh dear. Well, at the very least, I can get rid of this guy. Spiny on spiny violence. Kaboom. One more time if you would spike. Very nice. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. A coin. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, so this has been pretty disappointing, but hey, we got the spinny jump. So that's a thing that we certainly got. Hooray! Oh, and yeah, now we can uh, talk to Luigi. I can see what this is. Hey, I'll take a shooting star. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Oops. Okay, and now, let's see what's over this way. Hello. Have I been here before? The door is securely locked from the other side. Well, it's nothing I can get to, apparently. Hmm. Suspicious. exactly what I thought. Hello? Well, well, looky here. Hello, hello. Rip Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a bit little business and minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into a great fortune. For I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it only costs 64 coins. Deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. Don't mind me. Cheating the system. 
Sure, I'll buy your thing. Oh, um, you know what? Star piece is worth it. Well done, my good man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good, I have something even better for the same price. But I warn you, this offer is only good right now. You'll be kicking yourself if you miss this opportunity. So how about it? Do you have a deal or not? I don't have the money. Okay, pinch your pennies. It's a shame, really. This item's so amazing. And well, it could be gone when you come back. I highly doubt that. By 64 coins, 10 times. After that, don't. Oh? Hey, odd key. And here we are. But sadly, I do not have the money I would need. It's going to take me a bit to get 640 coins. At least I think that would be 10 times. Well, I suppose I'd have to do 9 times now, right? Because I already did the first one. Ah, damn it! That's on me. Actually, no, now that I think about it. Not what I wanted. Now that I think about it, I could have just gone to the Toad House and gone to sleep. To regain everything. Baria putting in some work. Oh, I really fucked that up. But it's okay. Gumbaria can fix it. See? Crisis averted. Yeah, in retrospect, I'm gonna go back to the Toad House, heal up, and then uh, I guess we'll go further. I feel like there's another place I'm forgetting about that requires Spike. Hey, Rip Chet Cheeto. And also, while we're in the neighborhood, I mean, we're gonna pass Tasty's house. I might as well do some cooking. What's cooking? Good looking. I just wanted to say that. Here is my super shrew, my good lady. And a maple syrup. You've done this recipe for me a bunch of times. I should probably try to get another vault pop. But at the same time, that requires, you know money to buy the vault shroom. There we go. I forget if the bubble berry is used in any cooking. Yeah, I might off-screen some more cooking, because we got other stuff we got to do. Well, back into the sewers I go. Alright, and I gotta get my, uh... Spell turned back on with Merlovely. This one is to Goomba Village, right? Yes. So this was a waste of... Well, not necessarily. I could have rested at the Toad House there. Since it is one of the closest Toad Houses to the pipe. Hello. I did sleep well. Thank you, Toad. Next is Merlovely. Because I like having that spell on. It is a good spell. <laughs> I 
And I also like this song. Hello, Mer Lovely. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merlee, you see? That's me. Sorry, Merlee. I've been calling you Mer Lovely, your sister. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Oh, how lovely! Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. I'm gonna go for that special course. Well, we're ready, tally-ho! And here we go! I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then, please come again. Goodbye, my friend. I just enjoy reading her dialogue. I like the rhymes. It's a pretty good time. Zzz. Yeah, that one didn't really work out for me. Anyway... Koopa Coot's right here, but I'm gonna deliver that letter to Coover first. Oh, here you are. Sorry, Coover. It's been a while since I've been shopping in Toad Town. I bet I could read all about your adventures in the newspaper there. Mr. Coover, Paracarry here. I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks. Cool. It's from my pal. This must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take this back to Mr. E who lives in the desert? He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the Toad House. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Mr. E! All right, we'll have to give Mr. E this letter. But now, it's time to do our due diligence and help out the elderly. Because we're good like that. So, Spike, uh, you've just joined the party. This is Koopa Koot. He does not reward well. I mean, sometimes he does... But you gotta wait through getting one coin a lot. But, you know, we're helping him because, you know, he's an old man and he kind of needs the help. Plus, I like doing the voice. Oh, what luck! You came at a perfect time, young man! Could you see your way to doing me another favor? Oh, how very kind of you! I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, aside from the hundred other favors I've asked of you, but... There's one thing I have. An old boo friend who lives in Gusty Gulch. Could you go and get a package from him? You may have a little trouble finding him, since the boos there look pretty similar. Racist. I'm sure you can do it, though. Long time ago, when Goompa Bootler and I were traveling, we met the Boo and became fast friends. He recently sent me a letter saying that there's a package there addressed to me. What are you waiting for? Go on and get it! I mean, please? wonder what's in that package. My curiosity is piqued. But we gotta get Paracare and give Mr. E the last letter. So that first, and then we'll go to Gusty Gulch. Where's the Toad House again? Other way, I think. Wait, is it the other way? Yes, it's the other way. So 
So what do you think the up and over is that this package is porn? I mean, knowing Koopa Coot, it very well could be. Or an aerobics tape, one of the two. I haven't seen rain in ages. I know it's a desert, but it should rain once in a while. I'm, we made a wish to the stars for a little moisture, but I guess it didn't help. If this weather continues, it'll get dry around here. I mean, it's called the Dry Dry Outpost, sir. You're Mr. E, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Gee, thanks. Oh, it looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives, uh, she lives there. She's one of three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. Okay. Another letter to duly deliver. Like Paracary said, I suppose a postman's job is never done. Wahoo! It's my... Oh yeah, we're fine. Awoo. Let's find a boo in Gusty Gulch. You know, you didn't give me any directions, so I guess I'll just talk to every boo in Gusty Gulch until I find the... Oh. How dare you waste my time, you stupid Hyper Goomba! Didn't even get any star points for that. I didn't just casually run face... I only got... what? That was so not worth it. Well, he's probably not the one that's hovering in the air where I can't talk to. Hi Mario, you're looking good as usual. You need to be paler if you want to be a proper ghost. Take my face, for example. It takes a lot of work, but look how pale I am. Sir, you're tan. What? You've seen paler? Really? I have. Much paler in the mansion. Has my naughty friend played any spooky tricks on you yet? It'd be a shame if you came all the way to Gusty Gulch and didn't get messed with. Oh, hello, you're running an errand for old Koopa Koot, are you? Uh-oh, now where did I... I wasn't really ready for this. Where did I leave that thing? I better go look for it. Um, do you think you can wait for just a few seconds? I should find it soon enough, so why don't you give some time by wandering around here? Okay... Is there anything really to do here? Hey Mario, have you saved all the star spirits yet? I've just got one more. Wonder why I care? I don't. Even uh, I don't even know if star spirits listen to the wishes of ghosts. I sure hope they do. Pardon me, Mario. <laughs> and the other boo scared. Oh yeah, another score! Boy, nobody scares people like that boo. Wow, such a flawless appearance. It takes my breath away. Actually, if. We're splitting hairs. I'm a ghost, so I don't actually breathe. All right, was that enough to get this to proc? Thank you for waiting. I finally found it. Can't believe it took me so long to track it down. Anyway, please give my regards to Koopa Koot, okay? And take care. Package. Well, this doesn't tell me what's in the package. I want to know what's inside. Harumph. Ah, damn it. Well, that was almost bad. Uh, really? Really? I don't want to waste the star power. Fine.
This is such a waste. I mean, I wasted FP, but FP is very easy to get back. For star power, I have to focus. Wow, I don't even have to action command. I could just casually let them hit me. All right, let's get our one stupid coin for this. Oh, four coins. I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. What was the other? I had a letter that I had to deliver to Toad Town to Miss T. Right? Yes. Miss T. Excellent. Eh. Okay, so. I wonder how many more Koopa Koop missions we have left. This stream's been going on. Actually, no, we've still got plenty of time. Never mind. I'm gonna say this stream's been going on for a while, but it really hasn't. I guess I thought it's been going on for longer because. I don't know, I feel like the flower fields is a bit of a long one because you gotta go through a bunch of different areas. Anyway, here's your package. Whatever is it. Living lava piranhas! You rule, Mario! Ah, yes, this is that package I requested. Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I've been dying to know what's inside. Well, I'll find out right now, after you leave. Here, take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Ooh, one coin. Oh, perfect luck. You came at the perfect time, young man, even though I told you to get out so I could open my package. Could you see your way to doing me another favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but... People keep talking about something called a coconut. They say they're delicious. I just have to try one. Go right away if you can. Promise to hurry back. Where did he say Miss T was in front of the dojo, right? I mean, it's probably easier for me to get to Lava Lava Island than to go into Toad Town and get Misty her letter. I feel kind of bad for Sushi. Because I'm having her swim through sewage water. And she's a fish. This is probably like the most uncomfortable she could be. Then again, she moves on land, so maybe it's not that big a deal. Where do I get coconuts again? I think any palm tree with coconuts will give it to me. For example. Yep. Also, now that I think about it, I think I had a coconut in storage I could have just used instead of coming to Lava Lava Island. Whoops. Mount Lava Lava is becoming less active every day. We don't have to worry about lava proofing the village. Oh right, there's that block that's in Lava Lava Mountain that I can get now, the super block, to supercharge someone, or ultra charge someone. Rather. I should do that. And we get to listen to ambient monkey noises. You guys like ambient monkey noises, right? Let's see if I remember how to get to it. I know it's like further in. Like either after the lava piranha battle or just before it. Oh wait, you know what a thought occurs to me. With Lack of Lester, I can just travel over lava. Heck yeah! Were you not here for the lava piranha battle? It was it over here? I think it was? No, it was not. Let's 
Ah, oh, damn it, I almost got away. Oh well. All right, come on, Spike. I really do appreciate you, Spike. Without you, it'd be very, very time-consuming to walk through all this. Wait, do I want to go down, or do I go this way? I don't remember. Is it this way? Oh, dear. Oh, wait, what am I doing? All right, come on. Oh, no. Can I go around the outside? Yeah! Screw doing all these stupid jumping and battling bubbles. I can just have Spike go around. Oh, no, you don't. I want to believe it's here. I will take my 1 HP, thank you! Oh, <laughs> I see where your mistake was, okay. Alright, so it wasn't here. It must have been after the boss battle then that we saw it. That would make sense. Oh. Right, this is all flooded with lava now. Maybe I'm wrong? No, because there's no way to get up there is the problem. So where on earth is it? I'm pretty sure there's a block in here, a super block in here somewhere. How am I going to get out of here now? I mean, I don't think the trap activates every single time the one that... Come on, Spike! We believe in you! You can do this! I also kind of like how they have Spike make this, like, really stressed out face, him and the cloud, because they're hovering over lava. Like, the heat's gotta be a nightmare. Uh, nope, I guess I can't go back. Unless... Oh, no, you... I can't just chill out in the doorway there. So how do I get out of here? Am I screwed? Oh, wait, no, I realized what I have to do. It's incredibly simple. Well, come on! I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Ah! Here it is! Ah, jeez. Alright, well, let's deal with these piranhas, I guess. Paracare, if you would be so kind. So I guess what I have to do is I need to ride the uh, zip line to a certain point and just fall in. It's the only thing that would make sense. Oh dear. Ignore me. Yeehaw! Alright, so let's say about here. Nope, too short. I got a little overzealous there. Ignore me, piranha plant. You don't want any part of this. Okay. Now? Aha! Alright, so what are we thinking? 
Bombario, Cooper, Bombette, Bo, and that's it. I'm thinking Bombette, because I like Mega Bomb. Mega Bomb sounds great. You know what? Executive decision. We're going with Mega Bomb. Actually, you know, Fire Shell might work out for the next area we're going to be going to, but it doesn't matter because I gave Bombette the Ultra Bomb. So it is written, so it shall be. And Fire Shell probably would become super handy for the next area, but it's not like that's the last super block for miles. I'm sure we'll encounter another super block and I can get Cooper's Fire Shell next. Although it would have been pretty thematic to give Cooper fire shell in the volcano. That would have been cool, but alas. Can't change the past, only the future. And I guess the present to some degree. Almost there. It's a little, there you go. I can't believe I got stuck on how do I get back out? If only I had a boo or something. Some way to become intangible. Oh well. What's in the cabana here again? Just so I'm clear. And nothing I really care about. But now for my own sanity here. I I had two coconuts. I didn't have to come here to grab one. But then again, if I didn't grab one, I wouldn't have gotten that super block. So I guess it all works out in the end. Sorry, I'm vibing to the music again. All right, uh, sushi. If you'd be a deer, I know this sucks going through the sewage, but we have to to get to the other side. Um, get to the other side. There we go. All right, now back to lack of Lester. Damn it, Spike. His name is Spike. He's changed his name to Spike. Here's your coconut. I don't know how you're going to eat it considering how old you are. Great crawling clefts. You're larger than life, Mario. Mmm. How do you crack this thing? Oh, well, I guess I'll try it later. I'll give you this to show my gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. I wouldn't mind getting one of those red jars. They, uh, they say were made in dry, dry deserts, ancient desert kingdom. According to popular opinion, you can get one if you buy things in a certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outpost. First, you buy a dusty hammer. Then you get a dried pasta. Then uh, you get another dusty hammer. Oh dear. Okay. So let me take notes here, even though he's uncertain. So let's uh, go to, there we go. Dusty pasta and dusty. And then, let me see, hang on, I've forgotten the other thing. Ah, well, you have to figure out the rest. But do hurry, I really want one, do I have your word? Don't even remember the order of the stupid things. Ah, maybe Mr. Mustafa can help me out. I mean, we're pretty good pals. I gave him a lemon that one time.
the nicest of nice things, as he himself said. Hey, Mr. Mustafa. How were dry, dry ruins? What? It cannot be! Followers of that evil Bowser had already entered the ruins? Oh, you scared them off. Mario, you have earned the eternal thanks of Mustafa. You were as nice as nice gets. I wish you great success. Welcome, Mario. Do you need anything of me? It's obvious you've obtained great power. It's clear to me you will be victorious one day. That doesn't help me. Okay. Well, that's very unhelpful. How do I... I might just have to look this up. Create a suspend point. Sure, I'll buy a stupid hammer. And then a pasta. And then a hammer. And dried mushroom? Oh, I, I guessed it by accident. What ho? Buying goods in that order. It's a secret sign written in an ancient will. In keeping with the will, I am required to give you this. Please take it. Oh boy, a red jar. A little jar at Mauser's shop. A collector's item, perhaps? Hey, Mauser, would you mind? I don't want this crap I've just bought. I don't want that. I don't want this. I'll keep the pasta, because that can be used and stuff. What do I have in my inventory right now that I could add to the pasta? I mean, I've got a stinky herb. Is there anything else I could add to the pasta? I don't think so. Can I add a stinky herb to pasta to make anything? I can't believe I just guessed it. Because I remembered for a fact that the dry mushroom was used for the sign of Mr. Mustafa. So I was assuming, well, if that's a thing, then clearly what's going to happen is you use, um, you use it at the end of this one. Um, let's see. If I were a cupasta, I could make cupasta, which isn't bad. It's not the greatest one, but I mean, it's something. I could grab a Koopa leaf really quick from Koopa Village. I mean, I'm going back there anyway. Wait, how are we getting to the next area? Didn't think of that, did I? Like, we didn't get any, like, indication of how to get to the next area, huh? Here's your red jar, my good man. Swoopin' Sky Guys! You're a true workhorse, Mario! Incredible! Outstanding! Ew, it's a little filthy, though. I suppose I'll add it to the co my collection anyway. You're a stand-up guy for doing your old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Woo! Three star pieces. Oh, it's Mario, is it? Nice weather we're having, hmm? Can't think of any favors I need at the moment, but I bet I'll need one later, though. All right, we've completely exhausted... We've completely exhausted Koopa Koop for now. All right. So, next order of business. I got a letter to deliver. And I realized I didn't pick up the Koopa leaf for the Koopasta that I was going to make. Whoopsie doopsie. Wait, we go! I think it's going to be... Oops, not what I wanted. Aha! Excellent. Alright, so I guess the order of operations that we now find ourselves in is I'm going to go to Toe Town to get this Koopasta made. Give Misty her letter. Hopefully her bike is okay. 
Only Pokemon fans will get that joke. Oh, and look at that! She's right here! Now I gotta figure out how we're getting to the next area. Oh, it's Mario! Hi there! Would you like me to cook you something? I would, actually! Take this Koopa leaf. And also this pasta. Alright, we have to check in with Luigi again! Because now we have the ability to knock him off the block to say hello! Hooray, Koopasta! A nice Koopasta! Need to sell the things I just bought. Just gonna take the weird vase that obviously has no weird meaning. Yeah, no, the vase is fine. Like, what are you talking about? It's just a red vase that the only way to get it was through some secret code that was mentioned in some old guy's will. I'm sure there's nothing sinister about that. Nothing at all. Hey, Luigi! Luigi! Hi. <laughs> Boy, hanging out way up high sure was nice. Such a great view and everything. Uh, never mind. Say, those no boots, they look really flashy. Now you'll be a better jumper. I will, right? Aren't they nice? Anyway, Luigi, I just came in to say hi. You know, I'm going all over the place adventuring, and I know you miss me, and you want to come too. So I just like checking in on you every so often to say hi. I appreciate you keeping the house safe. Nothing in our trees. Well, I gotta go back to my adventure. You keep the house locked down, okay? It's a job only I can trust you with! Alright, now let's give Misty her letter. And then I think we're done with side quest stuff, and then we gotta figure out how on earth we're actually getting to the next chapter, because I don't remember. Are you Misty? It's been quite a while since Princess Peach and the others in the castle were abducted. wonder how they're doing. I hope they're treating Princess Peach okay. You think her highness has enough to eat? I'm really worried. I want to take something for those people to eat. If I could somehow float up to the sky and... No, it's impossible! Oh, I, Felicity, am so useless! Well, you're Felicity. Misty. Are you Misty? Ah, here it is. Are you Miss... Uh, you are Miss T, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on just a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Who's this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. But enough about me. I'm so lucky you came just now, Mr. Postman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to a shop owner in Dry Dry Outpost. I ordered lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's not easy staying this beautiful. It takes work. Will you please deliver this? Thanks. Letter to Little Mauser in Dry Dry Outpost. I was just there. This is fine. This is fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. Wow, I only have 17 coins. Yikes. I'm really low. Oh, down the pipe. Man, Paracary, I don't know how you manage this. You have to do this all the time, just travel back and forth to a bunch of different places to give people letters? This is exhausting! And sometimes they just hand the letters to you to give to other people to continue a chain? You're the 
owner of this shop, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the oasis. Oh, if you make a juice with those things? Mmm, mmm. Oh, hang on, I almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Son of a bitch! Please deliver this letter to a boo called, a boo called Frankie. Frankie lives in a mansion out on the far edge of the forever forest. It may be tough to find him. Thanks. Why? Why, though? You know, there better be a damn good reward at the end of this chain. Like, I'm hoping a high-tier badge or something. I don't remember what's at the end of this mail chain. I know I've done it before. Frankie, huh? Frankie, Frankie. I don't think he was the one at the front. But I could talk to that one. There's a lot of boos in Boo Manor is the thing. Could be any of them. Could even be the guy right at the entrance. You're not a Frankie, are you? My Lady Bo is absent. It's our duty as Boos to keep scaring people. How would it look if Boo Mansion stopped being spooky? You're Frankie, great. Holy shit, it was the guy at the front door. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. That's gonna be hard, but I'll try not to spend it all in one spot. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thank you! Oh, great, it's finally in! This is from a guy I know who deals in useful items from over the world. He has a great eye for items. He just got something that I've been wanting for a long time. Oh, it's the coolest thing! Oh, wow, I almost forgot. Could you deliver this for me? Sorry if it's a bother. It is! There's a toad child in Toad Town named Dane T. Please deliver it to him. He always seems to be playing by the station with his pals. He must like trains. Thanks, Abu! Alright, let's go talk to Dane T now. A little weird, a ghost is sending a letter to a child, but I'm not going to judge right now. Maybe he's just trying to scare the bejesus out of him. You know, being a ghost and all. Kind of what they do. The booze deal. Alright, one Dane T. By the station. Loves trains. The I Like Trains Kid. If I were a Dane T, where would I be? Excuse me, sir. Are you a Dane T? What up, Mario? You ever read mystery stories? My pal says there's a guy in Shiver City who writes really interesting mysteries. I guess mysteries are alright, but I think that fun and exciting stories are better. I'd rather read a story about one of your adventures, Mario, that be on uh, that'd be the best. You're Dame T, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Wow, I got it in one guess. Nice. Another train do uh train. <laughs> Another train duly delivered. Just drops a train on this poor child. <laughs> Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Like Road Rolla, but train. Thanks, mister! Wow, I mean, wow! It's an invitation to the Haunted Mansion! I didn't think it would be... It would really come! All the kids in Toad Town have been talking about this invitation, wondering if it was for real. But now that it's come, I guess I have to go. Minnie T, are you brave enough to go with me? Uh, you know, I'm really kind of busy and... Oh yeah, I just had the greatest idea! Let's ask that Yoshi kid from Yoshi Village to come! You just got a letter from that kid last week, didn't you? You know, that letter you got from the island? Let's send a letter back to him and tell him about the scary adventure we're gonna have! 
Hey, Mr. Postman, take this letter to the Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi Village. To Yoshi Village, then! Didn't this whole thing start with, like, a post chain to a bunch of fishermen that is friends? Or a bunch of friends that were gonna go fishing, and now we're delivering a letter to a kid in Yoshi Village about how some kids in Toad Town are gonna be going to a spooky mansion. This quest has gone all over the damn place. This is such a ridiculous letter chain. Oh, hang on, Parakiri. I gotta swap you out for sushi if we're going to Yoshi Village. Woo! Well, you know, we gave him that train for his birthday. Might not live, but, you know, why did I go through here? This isn't where I need to go. I need to go through that blue pipe. Oh, wow, and there he is. tricks we played while you were away. <laughs> A red Yoshi kid. Ah, you must be the one. The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thanks, I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made a new game. We gotta play this later. He also wanted to come over to this town and play with him sometime, but how can I get there? Kid, there's a blue pipe literally a few feet away from you that leads to the sewers. Then you take the green pipe up to the top and then boom, you're in tow town. Quick and easy. Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Paracary, will you help? Here. Deliver my letter to the Toad Kid who asked you to send this one to me. Could you? Thanks! Back to Dane T, I guess. This is fine. One day I'll be done with this letter quest. One day. how many more letters there are because I think there's a few I mean by letters I mean just in general hanging out around the world not like the letters from this quest chain because that I have no idea how many more there are let's hope this is the final one it's not that I mind this is an interesting side quest and all it's just kind of a lot <laughs> what up Mario Ever read Mystery Star? Okay, this is the same thing. You're Dane T, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. We spoke literally not too long ago, but I'm doing my spiel again. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks a lot! You're much faster than the old postman, that's for sure. That Yoshi kid's a really good pen pal, huh? He writes really long letters. It sounds like there's always something fun going on over where he is, lucky Yoshi. They should write back again. Hmm, what do you think we ought to write about? Hmm, I don't know. Let's think about it later. By the way, I want to ask you a favor, Mr. Paracary. Can you deliver this? It's a letter for Uncle Frosty in Starbound Valley. He's my uncle. He's up there taking care of lots of star kids. Sounds like a hard job. He has to chase him around all the time. At least that's what he says in the letters he sends. Anyway, I wrote him a letter to take his mind off work. I know it's far from here, but I'd really appreciate it. Oh, hey, we're heading that way. So the quest chain stops here until next episode, uh, next stream. Hooray. We can take a break from the quest chain. Now I just got to figure out how exactly you get to where we're supposed to go. Because I do not remember. Goodness, golly gosh. You know what? I could just chat with Merlin. Maybe he can give me a clue.
Oh, well, this is convenient. Just gonna. In the event. Oh, it's you! You came at such a good time! There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley's in the Shiver region, a chill place far, far to the north at the very end of the earth. Merli, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merli of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he's searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay! Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merli. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe that connects to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He awaits in Starborn Valley. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I remember now, there was one place in the sewers I missed. Well, we have to go there anyway, down to the sewers for the next session. But uh, with that, I think we're going to end the episode here. In the next one, we'll head over to Starborn Valley. See you guys then. Now, I got to figure out who I'm going to be raiding. <laughs>